Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the uh, tattoos tag. So I'm going to insert pictures here. Hopefully this is the right side, I don't know. Let's move over a little bit. <laughs> um, and talk a bit about why I got them and their meaning. Okay, so the first one, I'll go feet upwards. <laughs> so the first one I ever, well I won't do it in order because I can't remember. But my first one is a tattoo of a treble clef and music notes and it's got granddad written underneath it and that is on my foot. That was my first ever tattoo. I got that done probably about a year or two before my granddad passed away. My main reason for that was because he was my best friend, he taught me music and he just means the world to me that I wanted to get him tattooed on me. So that was the meaning behind that one. And then on my ankle, on my left leg, I have a Pikachu. I got that done with my ex-boyfriend at the time. Well, my boyfriend at the time. Yeah, so I got that done. It was a matching tattoo. I don't regret it because I like Pokemon, so it doesn't bother me all that much. <laughs> Next tattoo I got is my most recent one, which is the one on my thigh. It is a girl with an owl sort of hat type of thing, I don't know. And it's got roses. I which is not, it should be well known on my channel that I do suffer from depression. I had a few scars on my thigh from self-harm and I wanted to cover them up. So that was me the meaning and the reason for that tattoo there. The next one is a feather with birds going up my, f my hip. So the feathers on my thigh and then the birds go up over my hip. I got that done with my friend Luke. We were best friends at the time and he means a lot to me so I wanted to get a matching tattoo with him so we did. Then we have the Mickey and Minnie kissing on my ribs with a quote, dreams are forever. I love Disney movies so, you know, as you can see, I wanted to get Mickey and Minnie tattooed on me. And I found that tattoo really cute, or that picture really cute, and I just wanted to get it tattooed. And Dreams Are Forever is actually part of a quote from a Disney film. So that is that tattoo. And then I have a dove on my shoulder, and it says Teolu underneath it. Teolu means family in Welsh, so my granddad was born in Wales. So that tattoo was also for him as well. Then we have mum and dad on my wrist. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I love my mum and dad so I wanted to get something to do with them tattooed on my wrist so I literally got mum and dad and a love heart on my wrist. <laughs> and then we have Ohana on the back of my neck. That was a matching tattoo with my sister and my cousin. So Ohana means family and it's in a Disney movie called Lilo and Stitch. If you haven't seen it, then go watch it. You'll understand. And then we have a baby toothless on my arm and that with a few paw prints underneath that. I didn't have much meaning to that. Again, there was some self-harm scars that I wanted to cover up, so I just got baby toothless because I think he's cute. <laughs> and then on my wrist, just below the baby toothless, is a bunch of paw prints because I love animals. My dream is to become a vet or help animals or be a zookeeper or you know anything to do with animals really so that was the main reason for getting the paw prints. I have believe on my pinky finger. I got that done with my best friend Courtney. We've known each other like eight or ten years now. Pretty self-explanatory. She makes me believe in myself and believe that I can get through anything so that's why we got that one done. What else is there? I've got a love heart on my hand. When I was younger, like teenager, 13, I used to cut, yes, cut a love heart into my hand. I don't know why I was stupid. And I just liked it, so I got it tattooed. Bit of a pointless tattoo, really, but uh. <laughs> And then I have a J, well, on this part of my arm. I don't know what you call it, but it's right there. That was a dare tattoo. There is an amazing dancer that I sometimes have the pleasure of talking to called Jordan Jennings. I will link his channel and everything to do with him down below. Definitely go check him out. He is amazing. He is super sweet, super nice. And if you ever have the pleasure of talking to him, then lucky you. <laughs> I think that's it. I love tattoos. Like They just make me feel better and I definitely plan on getting a lot more. Oh wait, no, that's not it. The last one, can't believe I forgot this. The last one is on the inside of my arm 
and it says we only part to meet again with the date 5 10 15. that is for one of my friends zach that passed away that date in 2015. he was killed in a head-on car accident i never had the pleasure of meeting him I really wish I had of because he was just the sweetest soul that ever will walk this earth. He meant a lot to me. You know, we did end up falling out before he passed away, unfortunately. And it's still pretty raw to talk about it, to be honest. And I, I do tear up every time I try to. But yeah, I got that tattooed for him. So I would never forget his memory or anything like that. So before I start crying, I'm going to end this video. So that is all the tattoos I have to date. Yeah, I definitely plan on getting more. So if you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, hit that red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you a part of my little YouTube clan and let me know what you think of my background. I think it's awesome. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all again in my next video. Bye.